Newswatch 16's Valeria Quinone spoke with churchgoers back here at home in Scranton who were stunned as they saw the shooting unfold on their television screens. Outside of St. Paul's Church, President Biden's childhood church in Scranton, the faithful say they are shaken up after what took place at former President Trump's rally in Butler County. I feel really concerned that we're becoming a different country, a country of hate rather than of love and peace. Um, shaken, like every American, I hope, and I wish the Democrats and the Republicans would just stop all of the bad language and, and the hate, frankly, um, on both sides of the aisle. Eugene Ogozalik of Scranton was shocked to learn the shooter was able to get so close to the former president at less than 150 yards away. For a fellow who knows his rifle and practices, that's not a very long way to shoot, uh, especially with a good scope. As a Marine, Ogozalik tells Newswatch 16 he is familiar with what it is like to be grazed by a bullet. The uh, former President Trump is very, very lucky that he's alive. I mean, that went right through the top of his ear. I mean, if he got, if that went into his head, he'd be dead. Joanne Tolley was making her way to Scranton when she heard the news come over her car radio. She says her thoughts and prayers are especially with the bystander who was shot and killed at the rally. Just the temperature of our country is just so high and so divided. And I don't understand. This is the United States. We should all be united. Something that Joanne says she'll continue to pray for. Valeria Quinones, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.